Hi, it's Pat Gillis here. And I thought I would answer a question that we got on our, our YouTube channel a couple of weeks back and they were asking if we prefer mares or gelding. Um, before we talk about preference, I think we kind of have to talk about differences, right? So if you think, have you ever heard that old adage, you can tell a gelding, but you have to ask a mare. And sometimes people will add to that and with a stallion, you have to negotiate. And I think that old adage is pretty much true across the board, right? There's always exceptions with everything, you know, different stallions, different mares and geldings. But generally speaking, if we're gonna, if we're gonna kind of uh, make a sweeping statement about these guys, I would say that th that old adage is pretty true. Um, the stallion has a single-mindedness. If anybody's worked with stallions, you'll know what I mean. Kind of like a border collie with herding sheep. They kind of have a tendency to be thinking about something all the time. And so that can be a challenge for stallions to get them kind of to concentrate on the work at hand. The gelding, however, has been, he's a castrated male horse, right? The gelding is. So we have removed from him a lot of that hormonal cascade that causes the stallion to have that single-mindedness. So I find geldings tend to be pretty even keeled, um, kind of easy going, kind of a little bit like a, a little boy that hasn't gone through puberty yet. Like they like to play a lot, they're kind of goofy, and they're pretty easy going. Not always, but that's my, my experience generally. The mare, she is entire. She is like the stallion. She is equipped to bring a life into the world, nurture it, bring it to term and, and, and look after it when it's born. I find that makes mares tend to take things more seriously. So I find that mares are not nearly as goofy playful as a gelding can be. They have a little bit more um, opinions about things. But I kind of give them credit for that. It's because they are have to be more serious. They know whether do they know instinctively they sort of seem to understand that they've got a, jo a possible job that they're going to have to do and they take that seriously so generally speaking I guess I find I've had some great geldings in my life I've ridden some great stallions and some great mares but I do find that the geldings tend to be a little bit steady on like they're kind of who they are every day the same way the mare Poor soul, she cycles every 21 days. She is going to have um, certain hormonal changes during that cycle. Um, some mares, just like some people, they're more um, affected by that hormonal change. Some mares you can't even tell, some of them you can tell. But generally speaking, if you can convince a mare to do the work with you, to really get her on side, so to speak, I find that they're almost unbeatable in terms of their dedication to the cause like they will they'll just work their heart out for you and um, but by the same token if you don't get the mare on side she will fight you much harder than the gelding ever will she's way more opinionated and she'll she's not shy about telling you that's been my experience so generally speaking um, there's that old adage again about uh, you know a good horse is any color I kind of feel the same way about mares and geldings and stallions. If it's a good horse, it's a good horse. The mare, we can forgive her because she is um, intact. She has all those hormones. And if she gets a little opinionated, sometimes that's okay. But as I say, if you can get the mare on side, they're pretty terrific. But then, so are the geldings, so are the stallions. Horses are pretty terrific. Anyway, how's that for a wishy-washy answer? <laughs> I love them all. Anyway, till next week, remember to thank your horse, Mare Gelding or Stallion, and we'll talk to you soon.